Yo, what's up, Gabby here from Rise Studios, and I have something really special today. X-Way Atlas. Hey, Gabby here from Rise Studios, and today I'm going to be reviewing the X-Way Atlas four-wheel drive. Now, when I say review, I actually mean more like first look hands-on, because I only have this for about 10 days. Um, actually, have loaned it to me so I can do this video and then I will have to send it back. So, first riding experience with this was incredible. You stand on the board and it's, first it's longer. You can see that when I stand it here and I sit it down, it's almost as tall as me. So that's because it's much longer and allow you to have a wider stance for tall people like me. Well, that's Great, I love to have a wider stance, it's so much comfortable. Now, of course, this is a stiff tech, that's because it's carbon fiber. And I can explain how much better it looks on person, like looking at it right now, that it looks on videos and pictures. It just doesn't show on pictures and videos. Like you have to see it and touch it. And the carbon fiber is just so nice. The grip tape, how a shape, and everything about this board looks incredible. And like I said, once you stand on it, it feels really comfortable. Even so it's a stiff deck, it still is very comfortable. Now, it's not as comfortable as a flexi deck. Since so you are into flexi deck, you're gonna notice the difference. But still, if you ever wanna go from flexi deck to stiff deck, this is the way to go because it's just so, so nice to ride this. And as soon as I grab the remote, usually I tend to get all my electric skateboards at the highest key. Let's say four, if I'm riding a waggle, I'll probably just set it on turbo. Like, I'm big, I'm a big fat guy, you know, <laughs> I'm pretty heavy, so I need those boards to really give me a lot of power, plus I like to ride very aggressive. I did the same with this board. Wow, like I have to immediately drop a gear because this is so much power, like, like nothing I ever ride before, and I mean it. And I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll put a list right here of all the electric scares that I have, at least the AT. Uh, all the all-terrain boards that I had before uh, that I own and some of them that I, I only tested because of the reminder from friends and this scene is just blows everything out of the water like it doesn't even compare like you may be thinking how about boards that usually have a lot of torque a lot of acceleration well this scene is just it blows everything out of the water you, you can't even co compare them really the braking the same is the best brakes on any electric scale ever made I mean, it breaks to the to the point where it's just a scrape into the into the into the fault. You, you might even like jump out. I mean, it's a hobby when you see, which means you can control it easily. Both acceleration um, and braking is not something that you need to be worried about. It's like, oh my god, I'm gonna buy this cable and I'm gonna fly out. I mean, very easy to control, hobby win. If you ever ride an X-way board, you know what I'm talking about. It's just the best ESC on the market ever. Every single board that they make, it's just the ESC is just pinpoint perfect and this is not exception but with the added bonus that you have so so much power now another thing that i noticed is the wheels are a little bit smaller than some of the other 80 wheels is 160 by 50 so you know it's somewhere about average actually it's not too small and the pneumatic tires that's maybe what makes the ride a lot more comfortable even so it is a stiff tech and it's four wheel drive so you have power everywhere and it just when you go all terrain, oh wow, it's just as, as a completely different experience to uh, ride with a four wheel drive compared to a two wheel drive. So, before I even have tested something like the AK Wheel GS, which is kind of like a Baja Bore uh, clone, we could say that. And even so, it was very, very powerful that bore. This bore, I think, is even more powerful. And because it was a four wheel drive, made the off road uh, riding experience so much better. So much, I mean, Usually when going off-road, I'm always a little bit worried that I'm gonna fall down. I tend to wear a lot of protection with this board. I wanted to try it out. At the moment I took, I took it off-road, I was not wearing much protection other than my helmet. So I was a bit worried. But as soon as I started going, I realized that it was so much more easy to ride off-road than anything else I have ever tried. And it's really a pleasure to ride. Another thing is because it has, it's, it's kind of like rather low to the ground, I was very worried to scratch the bottom. Um, that happened to most of my electric scales when I go off-road, and somehow that didn't happen. 
and the place when I went off-road there were a lot of stunts kind of like fly all over the places I'm riding and yeah I don't understand the logic on that it's just the bottom of the board it's just perfect no scratches or anything so I don't know how that happened so it's excellent for off-road uh, trails for going like all terrain no matter what like cracks on the, on the ground like where I live the, it looks like there was a war here because the, the sidewalks and the streets are all broken, badly broken. And with this board, it's just the most comfortable electric scale I have ever ride, period. The most powerful electric scale I have ever ride. And by the way, in case you wonder, these are dual camping tracks, but there is nothing like it. I have uh, tested a lot of dual camping tracks and this is so much more different. The stability when going at high speed is second to none. And I'm comparing these tracks, to be honest, I can compare these tracks, not just to other dual camping tracks, I can compare it to everything else in the market, period. Like the best track I ever used. They're good for carving, super stable at high speed, uh, super comfortable going like um, broken roads, like a lot of cracks on, on, on the road. And, and when going off, uh, off road, like purely off road, it also feels great. So amazing. Now, let's talk about what is not so great, which is just a few things. It's very little things that I didn't like. Um, first is, it's really hard to carry around. I mean, when you're riding it, it's fantastic. But when you are not, it's the problem. Because you have the four wheel drive, you have motors all over the place. You have to, if you pull for the tracks, you need to hold it a little bit low. Otherwise, the, the motors touch the ground. Um, you have a motor protection anyway. You're not gonna damage the motors. But still, it's not easy to carry around. Now, AT boards are not for being carried around. They're supposed to be carrying you around. But it's something to keep in consideration. It's, it's a bit heavy, like all AT boards. So compared to a longboard, this is gonna be much heavier and not easy to carry around. That's one little problem that I have with this board. And the other thing is like, I can't believe that the remote control still uses uh, USB, um, Yes, it doesn't use the, the Type-C USB, it uses the micro USB, which is a very old connection. It's basically the exact same remote control they have on the X-Way X1, the first X-Way electric skateboard. They, nev they never changed it. And I, I mean, it's a great remote. There's nothing to complain about it. I would like maybe a bigger screen, and I definitely like a Type-C connection on there. Now, there is nothing by love for this board, and of course there is, you know, the price, that's the elephant in the room. It's a bit expensive, but I think if you get the dual uh, bell motors, it's not that expensive anymore. And to be honest, the quality, the building materials, and the, the riding experience, generally speaking, is just so insane that I wouldn't say it's expensive board. I mean, it's expensive compared to other boards, but when you basically look at what, what you get, it's actually cheap. It's actually affordable for what you get, and it's so, so premium. And I gotta say, I'm a big guy, I ride a grape steel, and like I say, this four wheel drive, it just have way too much power. It's just too much. So I haven't yet tested on the um, dual belt motor system. So taking this out, I will probably do that in my next video. But uh, I will say that dual belt motors is gonna be uh, quite powerful anyway. Uh, as a matter of fact, maybe you probably watch the, um, Daniel Kwan make a video comparing the, the dual tray system on dual belt tray system on the Atlas compared to everything else on the market and it came on top. Uh, even so, the motors are so small. I don't know how they done that. This is like black magic. They should have called this board black magic because it's so incredible. It's so impossible. This tiny motor pulling so much power and it, it's so stable. But anyway. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is just a first look at the Atlas. I know there are some videos already out there, but not many, because this board is very scarce. <laughs> there are many out there. They are seen they're having problems with the production of the board, and it's totally understandable. Being so high quality, it probably takes time to produce them. But be patient, it's coming. It's really coming. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, share, subscribe, and all that stuff, and I'll catch you up on the next video.